Mm, okay, before uh, starting the speech, uh, let me explain one situation happened. So, uh, I might think like, Earth is uh, really anchor uh, on us and all. The first thing what happened when Rahul called me, there is a TEDx talk, that too in Kanyakumari. I felt like, okay, 10 to 20 percent, I felt like, oh, TED talk, that too, second time in Kanyakumari. I can put that in LinkedIn, 2x TEDx speaker, etc. and all. It's 30 percent only that. But rest 70 percent, my mind is like, Kanyakumari, okay. That too first time, that too with my friends. Let me explore the place. I planned, uh, literally I talked to my friend and all said, let's explore, well, the, we can plan. After the speech, we can go to the Kanyakumari, we can explore that and all. But literally what happened, the earth is really hitting us. When we entered Kanyakumari yesterday, the first thing I said to my friend that, I think better let's leave tomorrow itself after the speech. Because all the news channels saying that Kanyagamari is flooding and we literally seen that water is flowing there. So the first sheet I got, uh, I just said like, hey, why earth you are doing this? I just produced some carbon, you are doing this. It's too much. That too you directly hitting me. Then one more uh, thing happened uh, before that uh, TEDx uh, uh, part like that plan. So my friend told like, Vishnu, this is a plan. I, I have some meeting. I have a meeting in Chennai and I want to go there, uh, uh, let me complete the meeting. You just pick me from that Kanyakumari, you know, right, lots of meetings are there, fine. So I planned according to that, I arranged everything. Later he called me one day before, Vishnu, I don't think it works. I don't want to land Chennai. I just uh, changed my plan, I want to come to Coimbatore. And I literally asked why? I literally see, man, if I land Chennai, I can't come to Kanyakumari because of the, everything is flooding there. But next time, second time uh, hit, hit it. Even in my home also, it uh, literally hit uh, a lot. Uh, during summer, like uh, I, I, my hometown is in Palakkad in Kerala. And uh, there I have three bedrooms, right? But when, uh, when it's summer, when it's summer, that particular time, if we are there in the hometown, uh, my parents and everyone, without discussing and all, we decide like, let's sleep in one bedroom. Suddenly some love, I don't know why, but everyone agreed, even my brother, sister, everyone agreed. Let's, uh, uh, sleep in one room, that particular bedroom. Uh, but after summer, it's again going back to the normal. Literally, I started figuring out why, why it's happening. You know what happens? It's not because of the love and care. Uh, in my home, we have AC only in that particular bedroom. In summers, we can't leave there. Uh, like uh, without AC, we can't stay there. In especially in the Palakkad and so, as we human begin, we produce carbon a lot, and that's why Earth is saying. You're producing again and again, let me show you what I can do. It's flood, it's giving lots of things. You can see that uh, literally today also, maybe if you take a news, uh, news uh, article, articles or news channels, it's everywhere flooding frequently. So what exactly is the reason? I just, as a common man coming from a tier three city, uh, did schools in government and all. I, I, I just want to uh, learn something in a layman level. If anyone speak in a layman, layman level, like in a basic way, I can understand a little bit. So later I understand that as much as we uh, produce carbon, so what this carbon is doing, right? CO2, okay? So it's least saying, I won't allow the heat outside. The heat you stay here, I won't allow outside the atmosphere. So the entire heat is staying in the atmosphere and that's because of that, because of that, the earth is getting warmer and hotter and hotter. So that's why this entire change. Frequently that things are changing, floods are coming, the temperature is increasing. You literally see my life also, my entire tool plan, I, I won't agree if my tool plan, uh, if somebody changed. It literally it's changed uh, twice. So this is the simple thing. So we all know that as, well as an individual, a personal uh, person, I understand that carbon is the reason. And we are literally producing carbon and again and again. We know that uh, solutions like net zero, lots of things are people that experts and everyone uh, talk about this solution. Everyone knows that literally it's uh, logically it's fine, theoretically it's fine. Some are uh, trying to implement. But later I understand uh, the problem is uh, not, uh, scientifically it's all proven, but uh, it's in the behavioral change. That issue is in the every human. They're not ready to adopt the change. Literally they're saying don't do this, don't do that, don't produce carbon, but literally we do, we are not minding because it's not directly hitting us, right? Some, some way indirectly, it is not directly hitting, but lots of actions we do, it, we can't, re it's a re irreversible actions, right? We can't do that, we can't change it. Literally, we are suffering. So later I understand uh, the, the behavior of a person, just imagine that 
like even as a youth uh, from my side, the change from a tuk tuk bullet to a silent electric bike. You give me more speeds, maybe Bluetooth connected, enabled technology, whatever that, even it may be having a capacity of 100 km per second, something. But if you go in a bullet or a RX with 40 km per second, that means our and with that feel, that tuk tuk feel, that, that's something different. We can't, suddenly we can't change on that. So as we know that entire people know what to do, what are the solutions, what are the things we have to do in the, uh, towards this climate change and all. But what people doing is they literally uh, showing the same behavior the way we uh, wear the mask, even I am also doing the same, right? So we know what we have to do against this, but the behavior of the people is like that. But the most, the fun part is, the people who are responsible for this all, the part, or they have to take steps, they're behaving like this only. So they're not uh, uh, doing anything. Their behavior uh, towards climate change, there's something similar to that. So then I, I got a hope, like uh, how I can explain uh, this particular uh, uh, problem, that beha behavior change of every human. It's not be only the policies or uh, like the government officials. It's depend on each and every individual. So COVID, I felt like COVID is a warning for us. It's a trailer. And it's re literally taught us, if it directly hit you, you just think if one person is positive in your home, e even in your uh, pa parents, any one of your parents, you are maintaining a social distance inside your home. That literally it made us to do that. It's forced to do that. So this kind of a change, it uh, uh, happened. So COVID literally showed lots of things. Lots of things we adopted, we changed. I can give you some example. Nowadays, in a bedroom itself, we can run a school. Or uh, before uh, pre-COVID, if I go uh, talk for any uh, uh, like a meeting or if you want any deal and all, I want to talk to him. I want to take the appointment of the personal person. I want to literally go to the physical office. I want to talk to the security. I want to show this is I am. I already have the appointment. But now, because of this COVID, after that particular thing, I just can sign any deal sitting in my home, sitting in my bedroom with a table, one laptop with a proper internet. I can uh, do in the Zoom and uh, I can close the deal to the digital signature. So COVID might be a, a warning for uh, the entire people. And literally it showed you lots of examples like, yes, if you want a change, we can do. Nowadays, with all these changes, people are moving, people are fighting, and we move on from the COVID. The same way we also start to work for the climate change and the countdown begin. Thanks a lot.